Well, love him or loathe him, he's become one of the most recognised faces in Australia. Well, look out because Corey Worthington is determined to hit the headlines again with an even bigger stunt, and we caught up with him exclusively. A week ago I was on the booting site working hard, and now look at me, I'm doing a national tour, got an agent, life's good. If you thought perennial party boy Corey Worthington was just going to quietly disappear, think again. I'm Corey, join me on tour. His new agent is none other than manager to the stars, Max Markson. Meet Corey Worthington. Hi, Corey. How are you? You need some gear. Can you help him? Oh, most definitely. Let's get stuck into it. Now, Corey's got companies lining up to give him money, clothes and all the celebrity trimmings. Can definitely go that one. Yep. Definitely go that one. Definitely go one of these. It's the youth market. It's the hot market. It's it's now. It, it's the the internet generation, and and he epitomises it. The 16-year-old builder's labourer is on the gravy train big time. What do you think? Yep. Well, let's get you into that change room. $2,000 later, the pint-sized emperor has new clothes. What do you think? I love this jacket. Really good. Awesome. I think you're ready for the next big party. Or, you guessed it, an upcoming national party tour. I think Sydney, Melbourne, Gold Coast are lined up first, then Adelaide and Perth. Following that, there'll be, I'm sure there'll be a couple of TV commercials. Oh, uh, well, this weekend we're um, throwing a party in Melbourne this Sunday. Not 100% sure where it is. The details will be on MySpace. But wait, there's more, much more. You know, I mean, there was a record company who wanted to do a record with him. There was a TV, uh, uh, an advertising agency offered him $25,000 for a TV commercial. I'd like to think we could generate $100,000 in the next 12 months for him. I find it sad now, yeah. I was one of the first to defend him initially. He said, he'd been too hard on this kid, but I think it's now gone too far. Radio host Neil Mitchell is just one of many singing from the hymn sheet of outrage. Neil, Corey is going to do a national tour. Why do you think he shouldn't? I think that his uh, reaction to what happened shows a deep misunderstanding by the kid of his rights and his responsibilities. And I think that we're probably adding to those problems by paying him and allowing him to profit for what he did. From CNN to cyberspace, like it or not, Corey is a kid people Hello. just can't stop talking about. Take off your I'll... glasses and apologise to us. I'll say sorry, but I'm not taking off my glasses. Why not? Because they're famous. Take off His last interview on A Current Affair became the world's fourth most viewed clip on the internet. He's captured uh, uh, something in the public side, and not just here in this country, but all over the world, obviously. He's a great self-promoter. He's a great marketer, yeah. What is it about him, do you think, that has captured the attention of the English-speaking world? <laughs> attitude. Attitude. He's just got a stuff-you attitude, which people probably uh, enjoy a little. But the gloss is wearing off. You've gone from 300 friends on MySpace to 10,000. Yep. It's a bit crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty crazy, yeah. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Out in the streets, it's the same story. Can you do a party for us? Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing a party for you. Hey, Corey, do you mind if I get a photo with you? Yeah, that's fine. But fame and perhaps infamy have come at a cost. Ow. Someone's come up with slapcorey.com. A sign slaps some sense into Corey. Does it bother you? I mean, you say it doesn't bother you, but your body language says it does bother you. I'm not saying anything. It's been a roller coaster ride, but like his sunglasses, Corey says he's famous and he loves it. But this is a happy story. This is a good story. He's a party boy. Are you going to take your glasses off? No. Not a chance. We all tried. Nick Etchell's reporting on what we're sure won't be the last word 